How are you feeling right now physically? How are you feeling mentally? Where, where's your headspace at right now? I feel, I feel good, man. Uh, kind of like that, kind of like that Woodley fight when you, um, it was a moment to where when it got close, I just came into like my own. I came into this zen-like state and, uh, and I'm starting to approach that for this fight too. So I'm just excited and I, I'm just glad it's fight week. You and Kobe do not like each other, man. That is an understatement. There is, there is hate, there is animosity, there is emotion here. Does it make it easier preparing to fight someone that you just despise so much? <laughs> I, I Initially, I thought that way, but um, it, it doesn't. I still feel the same pain because I grind for everyone. I, I put everything into my training camp, so when I get in there, nothing is foreign to me. I leave no stone unturned, and sometimes it, it runs my body down. And, um, you know, I did the same thing for this fight. You know, I thought that, man, this is going to be fun training for this, but nah. Once I got into it, I realized, oh shit, my body still feels the same. Well, so. you're, you're defending the title for the first time right now. You're both 15 and one, man. What is your prediction? I mean, you guys are both skilled wrestlers. I mean, a lot of people are saying it's gonna go to decision. Are you okay with it going to decision? How do you want the fight to end if it you ends know, your way? It only goes to decision if he's tough enough to, to, to stay there for the okay. decision. If he's tough enough to withstand, like I, I fought like Dos Anjos, tough dude. Woodley, tough dude, after you know the, the way that was going. You know, he was tough enough to still hang in there and, and pull it to a decision. And so, you know, that's up to these guys. I, I personally, I don't think he's tough enough to uh, take it to a decision. I think at the end of the day, you know, he's gonna be under a lot of pain and he's gonna find a way out. Not only are, are you hoping to, to beat this man down, do you think this could be a defining moment in ending his career potentially? Like, what would a loss to you basically like get that, this guy out of UFC. Do you want him out of UFC, man? No, I don't necessarily care whether he's in the UFC or not in the UFC. I care about the fact that you've been disrespectful to myself, being disrespectful to coaches, to my managers, you know, different managers that I've had. He's disrespectful to my gym, disrespectful to the world, pretty much. And so I have to be that guy to go in there and, uh, and uh, teach him a lesson. So you know, I don't care whether he's in the UFC or not, but I do know that he's trying to find a way out already. Mm -hmm. He's already saying, oh, he's coming out and say, oh, I'm putting on an act, I'm doing this and that, because he's, he's people please don't hate me when I get my ass kicked. Don't hate me, because I was just doing it to put on an act, to, to, to get fans. You can see through all the you know? BS and I, all the of talk Of course, and everything I like see that. through all that bullshit. Okay. I gotta ask though, I mean, of course, you wanna win, of course fans want you to win. Who do you want next though, man? It's always about what, what comes next after the fight, man. I, actually, I never, I never thought about it, man. Um, you know, my job is to go out there and, and take care of this guy. I'm not, I'm not thinking about who's next because, you know, for the longest time, I had a, a problem with trying to get these guys to come and fight me, and these guys wouldn't fight me. They all came up with the excuse that, oh man, it's, uh, uh, you know, he's not in the top ten and this and that. You know, I don't want to be the guy to take that risk. So they knew for the longest time that I was the big shark on the outside trying to get in, and they wouldn't let me in the club. But guess what, now I'm sitting at the top of the mountain, they have to come to me. So it don't matter what they do or, or what happens, they gotta keep feeding me because I'm the champ. What name excites you the most, gets gets you going the most? Masvidal, Nate, Woodley. Who 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 do you want to go up against next, man? I if, mean, if you I, could let decide. Let me be honest, I, I really don't care. You know, uh, Some of those names you just mentioned are what we call easy money. Easy you money. Know, that's what you call easy money. Okay. You're gonna mention these guys, Masvidal. You're gonna mention Nate. You're gonna mention all these mm -hmm. guys. Come on, man. Like, you know, when I get a hold of them, hey, they're gonna feel the African power and they're gonna realize that this is different. Woodley's last fight was in March against you when when you, when you beat him. Um, he said losing to you actually humbled him. So I know there was a lot of build up to that fight. Now looking back on it, um, in the future, do you want to go up against Woodley again? Do you, does that do anything for your legacy, your career at this point? Uh, absolutely. First of all, yeah, I mean, I understand it humbling you because, uh, you know, I think he, he kind of took the approach like, oh, I'm big bro, I'm about to go beat up little bro. Sometimes little bro will whoop your ass, you know, and uh, and, and he saw that, you know, the, he felt that the, the hard way. But, um, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, a lot of respect for, for Tyron Woodley. You know, if we, if that, we get lined up to do it again, uh, of course, I'd be happy to, to do that again.